this uh, short podcast is going to uh, show you how to interpret some new results that we put out. Uh, this is a new format. Basically, the numbers haven't changed, but the way we present it has changed. So hopefully, it will help uh, help you understand a lot more about how to get through these decisions a little bit quicker. Uh, just before I start, I'll just have to say that uh, uh, this came at the request of a good friend of ours from Nebraska who's done a lot of used our tools in the past, and he came up with this idea, so I need to give him a little bit of uh, uh, credit for this idea. So what I'm going to do to start with the first slide is, is the top part of an output. Uh, any of the, anybody who's gotten to this point in the decision aid knows basically that this is, uh, uh, this is the, the summary data from the output. And then if you were to go down the page, you could look and there'd be a number of farm numbers uh, that you'd have the results for. And you can see I have a number of boxes drawn around. The first one, the red one says, okay, what farm number are we talking about? Which crops are on that farm? And in this particular one, in this example, I'm going to highlight the fact that we have three crops on a farm. Uh, long grain rice is being farmed. The other two crops are basically base acre crops. There's n they haven't been farmed. So when you do the reallocation decision, they're going to come into play or they might not. So when you look at the results, and this is what's why we went and made the extra tables. Uh, when you look at the results, the first page is a summary of all broad options, and I drew the blue box around it saying, let's look at ARC Individual. It's a little bit different program, uh, comparable, uh, you know, so you let's look at that one and see the results and compare those to the ARC County or the price loss coverage results. I drew the box around it, you can see that the results are significantly lower. For, so on this particular farm, you can pretty much rule out ARC Individual uh, right off the top. Uh, the next question, when I do presentations, I say, okay, let's let's look at the reallocate or not reallocate. So you can see the, the green boxes are highlighting. Look at the lines associated with those. And you can kind of see that this particular farm would want to uh, reallocate the base acres from having a diversified base of, of rice, sorghum, and corn to just rice if they were wanting to maximize payments over the life of this bill. So that... That's the way to make the decision to whether I want to look at ARC individual and do I want to reallocate bases or not. So then I would, in a normal presentation, I would go to the next page and I would say, look, we've already made the decision. We will reallocate bases. So check the yes box for each of these decisions. And that green top box is ARC County, yes. The blue box um, is PLC, yes, or the the bottom green box is PLC plus SEO, yes. And so depending upon how you want to view this, if you don't ever buy crop insurance and you're not likely to buy SEO, then you'd be comparing the ARC box with the blue PLC. If you consider SEO as a good option for you, then it's the top box compared to the bottom. And so to help for this crop, long grain rice, to make this decision, you would be trying to maximize those results and you're either going to pick the PLC or the PLC plus SEO. So that's how I would normally give this presentation to describe to users how to use our data. We have a new set of results. When you run this model now, you've gotten to this page and you're saying, how did we get here from where we used to be? Well, all we're trying to do is provide you the same information we had before. So if you click same choice for all crops, it's the previous table that I just went through first. If you do the per crop analysis, then it is it gives you the ability to click on each of your different crops and you can do that analysis just as you would look at before. If you go back to the, the initial screen, it comes up under base reallocation. There's summary tables with some nice colors on each of those uh, outcomes. What are you trying to do? You're trying, the blue is the best outcome for reallocating base acres. The orange is the best outcome for not reallocating base acres. So why, would, why did we do the table? Well, this is why. For different crops, and especially if it's a crop has is, is been a crop where there's only base acres and it hasn't been planted in a while, for different crops, you could get a different decision. And we were trying to provide a, a mechanism for you to summarize that data very quickly. So the top part of that table basically says blue is the best with reallocation, orange is the best with no reallocation. 
And then all we do is by crop on the bottom part of that table, by crop, is move those numbers down and make a summary table. So the 755,000, yes, long grain rice, PLC plus SEO shows up uh, as the first choice for long grain rice if you choose to reallocate your base acres. So what this does is it goes through and it picks by crop, which is the best choice, and then does a total. And you can see that, frankly, uh, as this, the results don't change, the answer doesn't change, just how you get there changed a little bit. And so it's still a comparing $755,000 if I did reallocate my base acres to 439000 average payment if I did not. It's just a little bit quicker way, and we've got these uh, uh, little bit of graphics to kind of help you wade through this problem a little quicker than, than what I showed you previously. Hopefully this helps. Uh, obviously you know that you can call our help desk and get some more uh, information about this if you need it. Thank you very much.